Glenn, you must be delighted. A 3-2 win at home to Chippenham. We're through to the first round of the trophy. How do you feel? Yeah, it was a great win for us. I think, especially after Saturday, it was a tough game going to Chippenham. Probably one of the toughest draws we could have had, really. And I spoke to a few people about Chippenham and said how well they've been doing in the Conference South, especially at home, good home side. So I thought that was a good result in the first place to go there and get a draw. Doesn't mean to say you're going to finish off at home, but re really good performances, some great goals out there. You knew when they scored with about 15 minutes to go, you might be hanging on, yeah. and, and that was the case. But Gorsi made a great save there, and I think in, in the end, yeah, we, we deserve to win, even though Chippenham will feel that they may have snatched the draw there at the end. We went behind 1 0 there, we went behind again 1 0 tonight, but we've still come out on top and won the tie overall. That must be the yeah. most pleasing thing for no, you as no, manager. Of course it is, yeah. Especially, I think, the, the way we set up as well tonight and a bit of a different formation for us and they changed their formation from Saturday as well. That caused us a few problems. Didn't start well, didn't pass the ball well enough and once they got the goal, I had to change it and, and match them in the midfield there. But I thought once we did that, again, we, we looked a lot better, created chances, scored a great goal. <laughs> 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 Oh, go on! Yes! Come on, ladies! Yes! That's it! Yes! Come on! We've reached give us the lead. You! You! Go on! 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 <laughs> Go on, Come on. <laughs> and then you're in that half time, you're happy, but you know it's still you still got to finish the job in the second half. And even when we got the, the free one, uh, a great goal by Luke Eiffel there for your right back. You don't expect many right backs doing that. Yeah, but your definition of, you're using the literal definition of in our Ooh. Well done, Lukey. Oh, yes, Lukey. Come on, Luke. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! What a goal! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Especially at this level, but fantastic goal gave us that cushion and we needed it there at the end any players you want to pick out from the two games overall very tough because so many it's it's not just the way we played it's the work rate the effort as well you you have to put in so it would be it would be unfair to to pick out individuals i think everyone over the two games like you said it, it wasn't just about tonight that that first game was a great result for us and a really good performance so yeah really pleased with the boys but this is the trophy, the league form uh, has been a problem yet. You look at our position in the league, we need to start climbing the table. So the faults are now onto the Corinthian casuals and, and need to start winning games in the league to get away from trouble. Like you say, a few league games coming up and a velocity trophy game in the middle of that. We do have a few, a couple of weeks until the game against here against Welling or Dulwich. Is that something that needs to just be washed out the No, I'm not now? even thinking about that. Uh, you, of course, we'll look out for the, the score tomorrow and see who we get. Uh, the, again, the, we'll be the underdogs there. Two good sides, Welling and Dulwich, doing well in, in the Conference South, just like Chippenham were. But you're at home, look, you, you look forward to it, no fear. But we've got some big league games coming up before that that we need to start picking up points. Last question. Uh, the strikers are getting their goals now. We've had a few from Charlie Cole in the last few games. Laney's back amongst the goals and Reese again scoring tonight. That must be a big weight off your shoulders. Well, well it is, yeah. I think we're, we knew that has been a problem, scoring goals. I think we've created plenty of chances. It's not like we've been playing games and haven't been having yeah. attempts on goal and, and, and not even creating anything. There, there's been times I've been really happy with the performances, strangely enough. And even in some of the defeats, you, you're thinking they, they could have been different. But we've had a problem scoring goals and, and keeping goals out the, at the other end. And that's always a recipe for disaster. The, the thing is, we, we just have been a bit inconsistent because we have had three 1-0 wins in the league since I've been here. Yeah. So it shows it can be done. But we've also had, I think, the, the four Potters Bar, four against Kingstone, four against Bognor. Bognor yeah. So we have been a bit up and down. And it hasn't helped that we've had injuries, we've had people missing. 
and every game we, we can't seem to, to get through a game without two or three people missing for the next game mm. so you're having to chop and change which, which sometimes does lead to the inconsistent results and then for the first time I was just pleased today I could walk in the dressing for the first time in two months since I've been here that I could say same team boys go and do it all over again <laughs> so it's up to them they've got the shirt we've had some new players come in but if people do well and, and you keep getting good results they'll stay in Excellent. thank you yeah. thanks you. Rob how would you analyse the performance average today I think all over the park we were average. I think nah, we we done really well. We uh we played in opposition, we were doing well in their leagues who are uh, in the league above and we matched them for at least I'd say eighty minutes, maybe seventy five. Playing it on the end, but it's football. With two two goals up and they score you know, you know, squeak squeaky bum time a little bit. But credit to the boys, it's been fantastic throughout. I think every single goal we scored we put in. Um, and you know, maybe we can defend a little bit better for their goals, but again, they come from South teams, they're, they're doing really well, you know, Gore is safe at the end. It was literally worth five goals in my opinion, so like credit to him and uh, yeah, great performance. How pleased were you with our work ethic as well, being that you know, like even you yourself as a striker up front you had to get back and in the last minute you, you made a fantastic block listen when you're playing especially a, a team of uh, good quality players work rate is everything you know and then, it, then when you're on the ball it comes down to technical ability and trying to keep the ball but especially in the last 20 minutes it's, it's hard it's so hard like, to, to get in positions but you just got to do it and uh, you know it's a bigger cage it's a bigger game everyone out there done 150% and made the effort every single player on that pitch and it showed and it's good fans love it and we got the result and now we're through to the first round so it's brilliant for the boys obviously to be a team above us as well and over t over both games you could say that we were the better side um, you know why do you feel we sort of um, you know, maintain that standard of performance yeah I mean what a difference a week makes last Tuesday we're here losing 4-0 to Kingstonian and then you're thinking we've got chipping them away, the team is doing really well, I heard it's a bad pitch, they're a well-organised team, you're thinking it's a long way, you know, what can we do? And we matched them at their place, you know, we've done it on a, a pitch not as good as ours um, and to be fair we should have won it in the end I think, they had their chances, Lewis had his chance, unfortunately he didn't go in, but you know, we've come now to a decent pitch, a football playing pitch in the first 10 minutes you can see that uh, they were a good football inside at times credit to the manager and the, and the coach Franco uh, changed the system and there it went and it was all us I think I mean we matched them man for man we were getting balls in the box the wide men were getting wide getting into Reese. Reese was calling them trouble oh oh Fair play again to Coley. I mean, he had to play up front on his own against three defenders, and he worked his little socks off. He done really well for the team. And, and again, when Lewis came on, his ball control was brilliant to, 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 to slow the clock down, sort of for us. Yeah, again, an all-round amazing team performance. Now we've got a first-round proper tie to look forward to, but how important is it that we take this form into the league sign on Saturday? Massive. I said to the boys before the uh, after the game, like especially after the game on, on, on Saturday, why don't we do this? If we do this in our league, if we show this commitment, this effort, we'll get, we'll win. I mean, we've got the quality. It's just, it's, I think it's that effort. It's not giving up in games. It's uh, letting our quality show and, and doing sometimes the hard, the hard work, running back, defending, sitting back as a team, being solid. And uh, I hope that from these two performances this week that our league performance, we've got uh, Corinthian Casuals uh, at home next week, massive game. We've got to get the three points there, start climbing the table. And I think, to be fair, our season can start from today, from these last two performances, and start climbing and see where we finish. Thanks, Rob. Good boy. Come on, Luke! Come on, yes! Come on, yes! Wembley! Wembley!
Go to Wembley! Yeah, come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Boom! Yes! Come on! Yes, Luke! 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 Yes, Luke!